Welcome back to Socks Way Up Plays Minecraft. Today is going to be all about villagers. We're going to get a villager breeding situation going right here as well as a villager trading hall. Let's do this. All right, well, first things first, let's enclose this so that they can't escape once we get the villagers up here. I wanted to go with a brown glass and we did that here just to give them some nature and have that blend in with the dirt a little bit. Also, it's going to give them the ability to look down upon the world so they don't feel completely trapped. So the idea with all villager breeders, at least the ones that I've done, is that you get two villagers, two farming villagers into this space, allow them to work the crop for you and share the carrots with each other, which we're going to use carrots, and then they'll breed. We'll have to have beds, and then we have a little pathway that the babies think that they can walk past. Walk past. So because of the trap doors that we use, they think that they can pathfind across to the beds. They fall into the little water stream, and then that allows us to move them wherever we want. You can see here we're just moving the villagers to the actual breeding location. I'm using their workstation to slowly move them over, keep picking up the workstation, move it a little bit closer, kind of just working our way up to the crop. And it seems to work better than, I don't know, any other tricks that we would have to do right here is going up with villagers seems to be really, really painful. So using this trick of just moving the workstation and then we get in the house and forget that there's a workstation that he connects to, but eventually we get him up. It all works out. They're there. They're working. Hopefully they're breeding. Now let's get down here. Let's go. No, not. Let's go this way. We need to get some beds. So we have these sheep here. We're going to start setting this up to be able to breed them, give them another area similar to what we did with the cows. All this is going to be temporary. We're going to build other things in this area. But for now, flip that away. Two of them is definitely not going to be enough. So we're gonna have to get these guys bred up. I don't think I wanna leave them here, but you know what? Time's a wasting. So let's go ahead and get those two breeding. We'll get out of here. We'll get some sticks to make some fences. And then we'll get to this area here. Let's clear it out a little bit before we do that. So we'll clear some area out here to do another area for the sheep so we can easily breed them, give them plenty of grass to eat so that we can then shear all of the wool that we're gonna need for these beds like this there we go we can do that much better we'll get them breeding up get a lot more sheep in here to help us with all the needs we have with all the beds we're gonna need to pull this off so we've been plugging away at this for a while and i thought i'd kind of show this area we got some beds here and the trap doors there once they breed the babies will then drop down onto the floor and then come over to this area where i collect them Let's sneak through here close that so nothing can get, can get out, and this is where I collect them. I haven't, not the most scientific plan or automated plan, but it's working. We got two so far. This whole area, let's uh, put a little light source there. This whole area is going to have villagers. We have efficiency four so far, and this one has feather falling four. So we got a decent start. We got a lot more librarians that we're going to want, a lot more villagers. We're going to get them up and running here shortly. Well, the breeding seems to have stalled, so we're over here just... There we go. Yeah, don't look at me, buddy. Look that way. Don't look at me. Don't mind me. Why are you... Okay, you're done. Okay, there is a baby. And it runs this way. And oh, look at that. You fell. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. All right. That's how it works. There's an example. Let me sneak out of here. And sneak. There we go. And close it up. And then we come over here with a boat. We do this. And where do you go? Where did, where did he go? I can hear him. Let's get another boat just in case we find him. Oh, there he is. He's jumping up and down. Jump, 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 jump. All right, now it's going to be a pain to get you down from there. So I'm going to put this boat here. There we go. That was way easier than I thought. We'll break this one. I'll kind of show you the process. We'll put this back in place. It needs to go right there. No. Nope. See, I think that's the problem. So I think what we want to do... Pop that. No, nope, that's the same spot. Yeah, dum-dum. Back it up to right here. And then we'll get a slab. And we'll put a slab on top. And that should stop him from being able to jump over that. Again, this is temporary until we get enough villagers. So not really worried about it constantly making new ones. I have a certain number that I want to fill into this area. And then maybe a few more for an iron farm later. But this is going to get us going. So we move him over here. And then we're going to open up and prepare the area that this villager is going to live long term. 
move them into this spot after we clean some of this up like that and then we start closing this area out how do we want to do this i'm not completely convinced on the design yet so i've been kind of just winging it so far kind of just getting them blocked in here so they can't move once we break the boat and doing it one by one this way it's kind of tedious um but i got nothing better to do right now so we'll get them locked in we'll get another workstation going we'll keep rinsing and repeating get the rest of this area designed and kind of kind of show you our progress as we go it's enchanting table time. I'm tired of all of my basic tools breaking, so we're going to put that there. Get these bookcases. Well, I think we're going to need another row first, so let's back this up a little bit. Let's use, uh, let's see. Huh. I was going to see if we wanted to quickly get a little bit of an upgrade there, but let's wait till we get... We have enough bookshelves. Let's wait till we get to level 30 on our table. Get this out of... See, this is... I'm tired of these slow tools. Got to get rid of them. And for good measure, let's go all the way back. Put the slabs back here, like that. And just a couple bit more. And then we'll start getting these bookshelves down. Two, three, and that should get us up to level six, okay. Put that down, go over here, go there. And fortune one and level 14. Hmm. Hmm. That, I think that's a mistake. I don't think those work there. Yep, still 14. Okay, so those should not have been placed there. I think we want to go here and here. That gets us up to still 14. I think they're blocking. So we'll put these back here. That should work. 20. I always forget how this actually works. Let's do that there. Gets us up to 22. So we'll have to break these two. Make them into bookshelves again. Um, let's see if that did. Yeah, so that increased it to 24. So we do want to just get rid of this closer one and put it up up top the second row here. So that'll put us at 26. So close. So close. Okay, so here we are. We're going to finish this off. Put one right there. There. And fortune three. My goodness. Yep, we will take that right now, and we're going to go take advantage of this right now as well. Yes. I'm excited. Well, we haven't shown this at all, but this is how I get down to, like, negative 53, I think it is, that we're mining. And, yep, by the chest, you know it's Christmas time while we're recording this. But we got down here, I started doing some branch mining, and after I got the initial diamonds for the enchanting table and this pick that I'm holding... I left the rest of them. I was disappointed in 118 mining until I found this area. Let's just go ahead. If you don't know, Fortune 3 is going to give us a higher chance of getting more diamonds per or more, you know, more resources per ore like this. It works on coal, it works on iron, works on lapis and also redstone. So we're going to go ahead and collect all of these and you can see we got very 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 lucky with this area. I I don't know how many we're going to have. This 48 already? Uh, how do we get up there? Let's go over there. There we go. And even more diamonds. Oh! Doofus. Uh, get all the XP as well. And uh, how did we do that? We can't jump that way. Let's go back over here. That. And up, up, up. Get these last four or five that are up here. Yep, five more. 64. We have a full stack and one left over. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look. Hey, what is that? What is that? We got another one up here. That's sweet. So we got 68 diamonds. That's going to get us a good start. We might not have to do much more mining as long as we don't die. As long as we don't die. This will be our iron forever. You can see we got the chest plate already figured out. Chest is taken care of with the enchant enchanting. Gonna have to figure out a way to do some XP soon, but here's a look at, what are you doing here? Here's a look at what we've come up with. We move things around and there's our Christmas chest. Got this all decorated. This is temporarily shut off for now. We got plenty of villagers. We don't have to worry about them anymore. If we come in here, you can see we picked up all the beds. If we ever want to turn it back on, we'll just place some more beds back down. 
get them breeding. They're gonna live here still. I dig it. I dig it. I like the way it turned out. You see, they're still living up here happily. I like the view that we get with this. That was the whole plan. We can stare at them whenever we want. They can look out at the world. Turned out pretty cool. I, I dig it. I thought it was a cool idea to build into the environments and kind of show it off the way it is. You can see here, we're kind of just flying through the area. Don't mind me not having any, any armor on or these villagers looking like they're not set. They are. It was a setting on the replay mod that I messed up with, but this is how it turned out. Let me know what you think. I like this little villager trading hall. It was, we left the natural terrain, just decorated the walls and the ceiling a little bit, and we crammed as many villagers as we could into this area. So we got plenty of trading going on. We're gonna have all the books we need. We got mending, we have silk touch, we have unbreaking three. We saw efficiency four. We might try to turn that into efficiency five, which, you know, that's gonna take a lot of emeralds, but it's coming together nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast making this season of Minecraft. Thanks for hanging out.